Hi everybody, welcome back to Brooklyn Woman and Power Girl, aka Grandma Elsie, part two, come as you are. Okay, like I was saying before, when the Holy Spirit tells you look for a home church, he don't mean for you to sit in that building until the day you die. He means for you to venture out and spread the good news. You know, learn all you can. Ask the Holy Spirit about to give you wisdom, knowledge, and spiritual understanding of his word. To speak it in a way that people that don't know him will fall in love with him. And being a child of God... People don't believe in him, but he is, he is there. Because people say, oh, I don't see him. Nothing happened for me good, but you're still breathing every day. You can't see the wind, can you? You can't see the, uh, 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 the air that you breathe. No, you can't. Only probably in the winter you can see it. But anyway, I never try to push what I believe down somebody else's throat. It's up to you to accept what I'm telling you. It's your opinion if you don't want to accept it. But the way I see me being a child of God, his daughter, always been like this. I like to spread good news. I like to talk about good stuff. I like to say, oh, I love you. You know, that's my niece. But, um... I don't see morals, not even in church anymore. Okay? Um, when I was, like, growing up, they had homosexuals in the church. But they didn't let you know. But I knew. But I always still loved them, Pete. I loved them. I love everybody. I'm not going to cast a stone on you when... I am still breathing and committing sins myself. Can you stop? Go look at your cartoon. Stop. Put on your slippers. You you cannot be throwing pepper in somebody trying to take black pepper out of somebody else's eye. And you got a whole pack of black, pe black pepper in your eye. You got to take them in and love them. Okay? And another thing. People get on my nerve. Hook has been around way before Jesus came on earth. That like is new. Strippers been on earth before Jesus and after Jesus. Homosexuals been on earth way before Jesus and after Jesus. And they're always going to be here. And nothing nobody can do about that. It's just love them. I didn't say accept what everybody do, but you have to love them because they are people. Simple as that. And a lot of people walking around, it's not God's people. They are demon in the flesh. Like they have some of God children in the flesh. They got some of the demons in the flesh. This is where when you're pregnant, this is why I tell pregnant women, do not let everybody rub your stomach. Do not let everybody touch your stomach. And be careful who you eat from. Because they can give you something or do something to your child when it's in your stomach. Because your child is innocent. First, your child is innocent. But... If you let Satan get next to you, Satan can take out that child's spirit and convert that child's spirit to a demon. And it'll be born a demon in the flesh. Why you think all these school these schools killing um stuff like that? That's because a demon invaded that soul. That's why when you pregnant, you better not let nobody touch your stomach. You better not eat from nobody. But yourself, you cook your own food. If you can't cook it, just try to find somebody that you pray, and God will give you somebody you can trust. Be careful when you're pregnant. 
with your baby in your womb. Stop showing your stomach on, on the um internet and all that. We don't have to know how your belly look because the devil, you may not believe that, but it happens. And you know what, parents? I'm not telling you how to raise your children. If you know your child, you will know your child, what your child is capable of doing. Sometimes you don't know because I told you that's a demon seed that was implanted in your child before your child was born. And that's what happens. And if you have a child and that child dies before it reaches a certain age or your child died. It's because that child was here for a purpose and a reason. They was here for a reason. You know? They were... Uh, uh, God gave you them for a time being. For a certain reason. I don't know. But you'll find out later in the future. But when I said come as you are. Like they be talking in the church. That means, let's say, an instant, when God blessed me with a building to have just meetings. Okay? Someone walk in there, they come in as they are. I just said come in cursing, um, use a profanity, stuff like that. I'm just saying dress, the way you dress. And don't try to test me. You coming in there, yeah, I'm going to test her. I'm going to see how she really is. If I, I'm going to make sure when God bless me with my facility, I'm going to make sure I have a pantry with clothes, decent clothes, where when someone first come in, they can put on to cover their body. And I'm like I said, I'm not judging nobody and Nothing like that. But people are going to say I'm judging, but I'm not. But if you've been in the church for years, for years, you should know how to dress. Presentable. As a woman of God. Don't tell me God see my heart. God see your titties too. Okay? And he don't want to see that. Some people are going to say, how you know? I know we got jokes out there, but I love you. But anyway, don't be so holy down here on earth that you ain't you are no good. Hide holy people that act like they better than everybody. You have so many skeletons in that closet that if I open it, they will they, they will fall on me and kill me. When you really into the Lord. You know how to do people. You know how to listen to each person's side. I don't want to be on your side. Okay. I saw you did this wrong. You did do this to her. I saw it with my own two eyes. I can be your witness. But I'm, if I'm counseling two people. And one tell me one thing. And the other tell me. I'm like. Chill. Why don't y'all go and ask the Lord for some wisdom if you're Christian? I'm on. I'm doing a video. You know, people don't understand that anymore. You know? And I wanted to come and say that today because I had time to talk about everything. Like, for instance, my family members. I did a video about this before. I see generational curses in my whole family. Some of them may finish college, doctor degrees and all that. But I still see those generational curses that they refuse to see. And if I tell them about it, they would say, oh, Elsie crazy. She don't know what she's talking about. Who cares about what she said? But you know, one day you're going to realize that what I said was right. And don't let it be too late. Okay, I'm not asking nobody, oh, come on, hop on my bandwagon and all that. But you can, like, hit that, that um, button and give me a thumbs up. 
Her grandma need all the support she can get. But that's how I feel about everything. You should not be like come as you are. The people come in the church, um, homeless people, and instead of you taking them to the bathroom and give them clothes, you tell them you can't come here because they smell bad. We know it smell bad, like, oh, Jesus. Of course you're going to say stink. But, you know, if they have their right sense, they don't have mental problems, you could talk to them and give them soap, send them down in the bathroom to wash and take off them funky clothes and throw them in the garbage and give them some clean clothes and have a barber or a hairdress on hand to make them look decent. I didn't be the main people be up in your church, but you got to be careful because you don't want the devil sitting up in there trying to control everything and try to hinder what's happening. And people sit up in church for years and they still not blessed financially. They still not blessed spiritually. They still don't have spiritual understanding. They still can't see nothing with the spiritual eye and hear with the spiritual ear. They don't let the Holy Spirit talk through them. That's another thing. You know, sometimes I sit down like, Lord, do you hear what I'm saying? And when I be like doing my little sermons on YouTube, I realize the He is talking through me. You got to stop reading about, oh, God going to bless me with prosperity. First, you want to be healed physically, mentally. You No, you want to be healed spiritually, mentally, and physically. Because if you don't have those, you ain't, you is useless to the kingdom of God. You can't be judgmental. Or nothing. That's what I love to teach in my woman's group. And some people don't show up because they don't like how I tell it like it is. I've been like this since I was a little girl. Some of my family members don't like me. But I don't care. I don't care. Because I don't have to please them. I ought to please me with the Lord. I have friends that they don't believe in God, but I can tell they do in a little way. It's because they've been hurt by so-called Christians, children of God. You cannot go out here hurting people and then going to praise the Lord Sunday in the pool pit you preaching and the preacher having everybody in the church and his wife sitting back there, a beautiful sister. So you got to be careful because you don't want to go to hell. You don't want to be. And then again, the pastors don't understand that everybody in their church, the blood is on their hand. When you teaching people the word, you better make sure them people getting delivered from demonic spirits. 